After 13 months of searching and seeing over 60 vehicles, we have finally located a 1972 Chevy Nova for our project. This car would remain in a barn for almost 50 years, only to be recently removed, but we gotta go get it, we gotta recover it, and we gotta get this project started. I'm on the hunt for a 1968 to 1972 Chevy Nova. But I'm not looking for something that somebody's been working on. But where's the fun in that? I'm looking for something that's sat outside in the field 30 years, or that's been parked in a barn where a farmer never got to it. I'm looking for something with a story, and that's what I'm gonna find. So what's my story? Well, I don't really have one because this is the beginning. I just think it'd be really cool to create my own story, create a legacy, so this vehicle actually means something to me and my family. We want something solid, man. The frame at least solid. Yeah. I did get a message about a week ago from somebody about a Nova. It's in Muskoka. It's about four hours away. See, that's the problem. Like, if it's been sitting since the 70s, right, there's no way that frame is in good shape. Not after sitting in the dirt for all those years. Well, gotta keep looking. I found a classic car a lot. Just never know what you're gonna find. So I'm gonna go take a look and see what they have. All these cars just waiting to get a second chance at life, but this is not the one I'm looking for. Gotta keep looking. Nova, quest for Nova. You can't be too in too much of a hurry. When you had the Charger, how did you know that was the car? I That's... just fell in love with it. I think whatever car you're gonna get is the one that you're gonna love. I guess I just have to keep looking. That's right, once you get that feeling, you'll yeah. know. You'll know? Okay, yeah. <laughs> thanks for the advice. That's a field. Yeah. It's been parked in a field somewhere. Somebody drove this into the woods. It did, so that car was, was able to drive. So what do you think, Seb? It was gone when they parked it here. Apparently it's just over here somewhere. Covered by some pelts, there it is. This person doesn't really want it seen, but I know what's under there. What do I have to lose other than getting screamed at? actually went really well, but it's sold. Today's one of those grab the Shih Tzu and go kind of days. That is not the right one. These were only put in, I believe it was 75 till 78. I don't know much information about this car, but you know what, I'm feeling lucky today. Another 78, damn. It's not the right one, gotta keep looking. And I'm not really sure who owns this vehicle, but the second guy is claiming that the first guy does not own this car. So I don't know what the deal is with this car, but somebody's lying here and I'm just gonna stay away from it. I'm just ditching this thing, moving on to the next one. It's not the car that's drawing me so much of this. It's the type of condition that the car is in. I gotta focus on the main thing, and that's the story. There's an abandoned house with a 70 to 72 Nova sitting on a trailer in a backyard. But this seems like an adventure. This is what I'm looking for. This is the type of story. Now I look at this car and I, I could really just see myself working on something like this. I'd love to see if I could chat with you and just give you details on the project and see if it's something you'd be interested in. I don't know what happened there. To me, it belongs in a cemetery. I think you're right. I think it is past saving. I don't know, miracles are possible, but I just don't see that happening on this. Wow, this has been here for a long, oh, yeah. long time. I didn't do anything with this thing. Oh, I'm ashamed of myself, to be honest with you. Things got changed, so it went into the barn and it stayed there. I, it just got parked and that was the end of it. So that's the car. That's the car. Sadly, another big project for you, Max. Wow, look at that. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, so this one's pretty rough. Pretty freaking rough, if you ask me. Wow. So there she is. 
It's a big, 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 big project. You need a complete back end. You need everything. I gotta, I gotta sit down and think for a minute, I think. Yeah. We're coming back with the trailer empty or not? All right, truck's all packed, ready to go. Today's the big day. I'm so excited. It's finally time to go get this car. We're gonna be heading to New Brunswick. This trip's gonna be about three days. We're gonna take our time, we're gonna be patient, and we're gonna have some fun along the way. So just heading out now to go get the car. Nervous as hell. You know, there, there's been a lot of excitement for this, just the build up. There's so much build up to this very moment. Everything we've done, this is not just going to see another car. Like this is it, like we're going to get this car. And at the end of the day, you still just never know until you go see in person. This is it, man. This is for all the marbles. This is all the work. It's been 13 months of hard work and looking and whatnot. Then this is the craziest adventure and risk we've done yet. Like I brought my family all the way out here to New Brunswick for this, you know, with a four month old and a two year old. It's pretty crazy. Like this is, <laughs> this is our vacation for the year. You know what I mean? So I'm really happy to have them along. That's, you know, a dream come true to have them come along. I think it's gonna make this very special. And this was always meant to be a family thing. Let's go see this thing. Let's go see what's going on. It's, uh, it's time. <laughs> So what? What's the story with this car? What? What? When did you buy it? I bought that in the in the, in the Quebec. In the, okay. It was uh, in the garage. It was in the, the other shed. Okay. The other so, shed there. The, oh, so it was in that barn over there. Yeah. Okay. Pulled it out of the barn and brought it here. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. 
But what year did you buy it in? I bought that in uh, 75. Wow. I put it on the roof of one year, but not to have a nice thing, yeah? Look what that is. Yeah, it's all, yeah, it's, it's not a good job on it. That's okay, we'll strip it. I'm gonna cut the whole quarter panel out. Put a new quarter. It doesn't even need a whole quarter panel. It's no, right? When they got come up to about here. Yeah. Yeah, eh? This is almost no sense because they never went bad. And there's no, no there's no, yeah, there's no, yeah, you don't want to melt the lead if you don't have pain in the ass. It looks good. Frame rail looks good. You'd be happy with it. Yeah, you're right, man. So far, just uh, just from what I've seen so far, the inside there looks really, really good. Doors look pretty good. You can see under the carpet here. There's definitely some rot, but that's fine. It's really not bad at all. Holy cow. Full interior. Headliner's got a bit of hole in it, but let's see if I can save that. That's pretty cool. This is the man that made it happen, Jerry, right here. <laughs> Without Jerry, this would not be possible. So Jerry found his car from the same owner. What, you found it eight years ago and you got it four years ago, eh? I got it four years ago. I found it probably like 12 years ago. Yeah, and you bought one from him and you remembered that this car was here. You saw the video and you contacted me. Yeah, bro. That's how life works. That's awesome. Well, I can't thank you enough. This looks amazing. We're absolutely taking it. It's not even comparable to the other cars. But yeah, now it's time to get this thing out of here. All right. Yeah. It already looks better with the wheels on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's go. I'll uh, run around. Okay. I'm going to turn it all the way. See if I can get it. I can get in there. Okay. Let's get in. We're going for the first ride. <laughs> All right, and here we go. Holy shit, I got my Chevy Nova! <laughs> Holy crap, I can't believe it. That car has not moved since 1977. It was in a barn for many, many decades. There was two of them in the barn. He only just recently took it out of there, so it wasn't out, so that's a barn find. The last time it was registered on the road, 77, but compared to the other cars, you can't compare to the other cars. That's the whole point. She may look ugly, but she ain't. She's pretty on the inside. <laughs> We're really happy right now. Let's go show my wife. Let's see what your daddy got. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Oh, 
my god look at that look, look at it buddy your daddy's nova wow it's not as bad as i thought oh my god <laughs> Look at it! Oh my god! That is so freaking cool! There she is! There she is! That's crazy! That is absolutely crazy! It's amazing to actually finally see it! It's so cool looking! <laughs> oh my god! You are gonna have some fun! That's gonna be awesome, eh? Look at that, Jess. We found it. That's, uh, right, buddy? Guys, that's amazing. I wonder what Lex is going to think of this when he wakes up. Oh my freaking god. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> it's so cool. She exists. We found her. Oh my god. It's here. It only took 13 months. Over a year. Yeah. It's well Holy worth the effort. Holy crap. Though. There she is. Oh my god. I can totally picture it. I, I know. Can totally. Picture it! Oh my god, I can't wait to see you and the boys in it. I mean, look, we got I can't it. wait to drive it to work. I can't wait to help you on whatever I can do. You're gonna learn how to weld? That'd be cool. <laughs> how cool? It doesn't look that bad at all. Maybe. <laughs> oh my god, I still can't believe it. But look at it, compared to other cars. Holy crap. So you like it, my baby? I love it. Really? Whoa, you love it. I love it. So the cool thing about this one, Jess, is the second I saw it, I knew it was the one. Oh, really? Did you sit in it? Yes, that's what <laughs> happened. I sat. Did you sit in it? When I sat in it, yeah. I knew it was the one. Like your dad said, Yeah. I literally like, that was the coolest part about it. You know, I, I came in here, I sat down, and I just like, I pictured myself in here, and I'm like, yep, that's the one. Wow, look at that. She's here. It was worth it. It was definitely worth it. <laughs> you found her. So freaking happy. I don't even know what to say. So freaking <laughs> happy, my baby. Look at that. All this time I was like, why didn't I take that green car? You know, I had so many people give me crap over it. Yeah. And so long I, I was like, oh man, I made the wrong move. And, and you say no so many times. And like, look, this is what waiting does. Exactly. You get a car that's exactly what you want. I'm going to go through every piece of why this is a good find. And patience pays off. That's all I could say. That's it didn't, right. Didn't take me long to say yes to this one. I saw it right away. I was like, that's it. This is the one. I knew right away. <laughs> had so no excited. doubt. All right, so let's do the walk around so I can show you exactly what I was looking for. We're gonna start with the back because that was where all of them were a no. Check this out. All the metal's there. It's all solid. It's got some surface rust on it, but look at those frame rails, intact. Bam, first car I've seen like that. It's got the five leaf spring. I'm actually gonna be reusing those, believe it or not. Those springs are good. 8.5 rear end. Just from that alone, underneath there, it's already worth it. The floor, we'll see what happens. I don't know if I have to replace anything in there. We'll have to take a look. We'll take off all the carpet and everything. We'll, we'll look for sure, but it really doesn't look bad at all. Let's look at the taillight panel. Upper panel, this is all metal. This is just surface rust. This is fine. Now this was painted and it was painted poorly and it was one of the reasons he parked it because he had someone paint it for him in the early 70s. They just botched it and that's what happened with it. It just stayed ever since then. So rocker panels don't need to be changed. Amazing thing about that, these cars, they don't have a frame that goes from one end to the other. The frame is the rocker panels and the floor, believe it or not. So the fact that this is intact makes it really easy for me to do anything structurally. Look at that. Look at that dashboard. Pristine shape. Look at all this. It's got everything you need already. Yes, I took this off myself. I just wanted to see what it was like underneath and look at that. That's awesome. So we got all the interior pieces. Uh, the rest are in the trunk. So just sitting down and saying, this is my Nova. After so long, was so cool, I can't even tell you, like, right now I'm just having a hard time thinking about it because it was one hell of a journey. It's, this is amazing, you know? 
Check it out, how many uh, miles does this thing have? It only had 36,000 miles. Next thing that's awesome, when I was looking for, and this is something that I have not found yet, and that's this. Bam, manual pedals. Check it out, this car was a manual, along with the center console. This is incredibly rare, okay? I haven't seen one of these yet. I've seen like 63 cars. This is a 63rd car. First one like this I've seen. So you could tell this is pretty rare. Usually it's like a two speed power glide, turbo 350, something like that. But I haven't seen one with a manual yet. So this is the first time. And this is exactly what I want to do. I am going to be putting a manual transmission in this. So not having to put the pedals in, having the center console with the manual set up and the shifter, it's going to be so much easier. So this is awesome. This is also one of the first cars I saw that didn't have the bench. I saw a couple with uh, bucket seats, but not many. Not having the bench, that's awesome. I got the rear seat up back here. You know, everything I need for the rear. That's perfect. You, these springs, hard to come by, and these are in great shape. Reupholster it, it'll be ready to go. Now, this was clearly a race car because it's got a tack up here, and it's got some switches here, so he probably had his fuel shut off and his fan. Oh, and check this out. The door is actually closed. <laughs> I haven't seen too many cars like that. That's a plus. All right, let's keep going because this tour is not over. Next part, gotta go for the trunk. Look at this. Whoa, unbelievable. And check this out. Look at the interior. Look at this. How much rust do you see? Almost none? That's right, because there's almost none in here. He said he oiled it from underneath every couple years. Definitely helped. The inside's pristine here. You know, I was thinking about removing this trunk originally and treating the frame rails from above with epoxy. I don't think I'm gonna have to do that because if it's already so solid, then you know, what's the point? Don't give yourself more work. Okay, this side, same thing. Quarter panel, have to be replaced, but check it out. I got all my windows, all the glass on the car. The front window is cracked, so we'll have to be replaced. That's the only one. So here you can probably get a sense of more how the floor is because you can remove the carpet. <sighs> and it's got a bunch of crap under here. It's not that bad. I've done a Jeep before and it was way worse than this. If I have to do both sides, I have no problem. You have your transmission tunnel. If you can save the transmission tunnel, you just cut around, do the driver's side, the passenger side, much easier than putting in the whole pan. So that's also something I haven't seen yet where the, the transmission tunnel is good. So another plus, you're just saving every one of these points. We're just saving dollars. These are all things that were wrong with the other cars we've seen. So you're probably asking yourself what's under the hood. Nothing except beautiful, beautiful glory. Check it out. Look at all this. Have you seen a firewall that clean? There's no rust on it. Every firewall I've seen is gone. You even have power brakes if you want. Look at you can see the vacuum line there. I'm not gonna use this, I'm gonna put something more modern in. But the fact it's already got that set up is awesome. Look at this. Look at this rad support. Solid as a rock. So just in those couple seconds, you got rad support that's good, you got the firewall that's good. Vent here basically, a lot of these have to be replaced too. Another thing I don't have to change. You know, I just listed probably two dozen things that I don't have to change, that I had to change with the best car I found before. So it makes you wonder now, was it a good idea passing on that car and buying this one, or should I have gone for that other one? Well, I think it's pretty obvious now, but the thing is, it took a lot of time and a lot of reassurance and a lot of looking to be able to prove that point. So with all this in mind, I can finally see that this journey now comes to an end. Not the journey of building the car, the journey of finding it. It took 13 months, over 60 vehicles, but we finally found it. <laughs> Year one is done, it's time to actually build this thing finally. So we're gonna be moving on to the next chapter. Before we gotta do that, gotta celebrate with family first. What's that, Lex? Is that, that's a Nova. Go check it out. Look. That's a Daddy's Nova. Mm. Let's go, let's okay. go check it out. The doors, the windows. That's right, it's got all that, you're right. The, the wheels and the gold. Look at that! <laughs> Look at <laughs> that, buddy! Look at that, eh? Check it out! Look at the front. That one. It's where the lights go, yeah.
And although this journey is over, it's not something I'll soon forget. This is going to be one hell of a journey. It's going to push us to our absolute limits with this project. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications. You don't want to miss any videos. We appreciate the support.